Hello everyone. Today I have a very silly story for you. It is called A Couch for a Llama. It is written by Leah Gilbert. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, and hiding and seeking. They had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Wee! Oops! Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh! Looks like the wind blew the couch right off the top of the car. Llama found a couch. Sniff, 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 snippity, snippity, sniff. Hmm. Llama brayed hello to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. Yuck. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. The Lago family suddenly noticed something was missing. Oh no, where is the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So Llama snuck up and pounced and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled and jumped and bumped. and fell down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually finally, completely loved the couch. The Lago family finally found their couch. They also found a llama. Uh-oh. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of a llama. <sighs> they had a great idea. Don't worry, llama. We'll be back. What do you think their idea is? What a surprise! A couch just for llama. At the end of the day, the Lago family was very happy with their new couch. But Llama was the happiest of all. The end. Thank you everyone for listening to A Couch for Llama. I hope you have a great day. Bye.